In the beginning, like any novel, there are a lot of introductions, setting the stage for the future relationships and story development. There are a lot of acronyms which are hard to remember. For the average reader which I claim to be, I had to constantly go back to refresh my memory of their meaning. The book is also highly educational. One can learn new Spanish, legal and military terms. There are a few references to race in the book comparative to the traditional upbringing of someone that grew up in the southern United States. The reader from abroad could not relate to these types of prejudices and pass them off on non-essential life events. The author touches on race and equality several times in the book but clearly states that he is against all forms of bigotry. The author used an imaginary city in Georgia, but everything describing the city could have been any city in Georgia. The vocabulary slash script slash text is very colorful, descriptive and works with the imagination of the reader to formulate the effect which the author is trying to portray. Several references to his past home in the South is expertly displayed throughout the book. The author allowed the main character to attempt to create a perfect world, life, family, and marriage, job, while repressing normal desires relative to his Southern Christian teachings. The main character gets praises from all of his superiors, peers, and co-workers, and wonders if he is capable of doing a good job in spite of all the accolades, plus of all of the drama associated with his wife, housekeeper, immediate boss, and fellow lawyers and investigators. Interjecting humor with intrigue and drama, the author paints a picturesque view of the Panamanian city life for someone thousands of miles away. The author gives a brilliant description of the city of Panama, the sounds, the sights, the smells, the palm trees, the ocean breezes, city streets, the community and it was such that you were instantly transported to that place. The author puts the main character in a quandary of problems which forces him to make a decision as to what is right, what is wrong, what is best for him, and what is best for his superiors. One of the traits of a good writer is to prevent the reader from predicting the conclusion that of which the author did nicely. The perplexing part is that the reader is drawn or compelled to continue reading to see if the audience perceived ending is the same as the main character ending or the ending the author had intended. The author allows the climax of the book to come to an end and the main character has to come to grips with his future, his wife's future, and what part of which they intertwine or disperse. In conclusion, the book is nicely written. The author took exceedingly lots of time to incorporate all portions of the Panamanian society and how it equates to anywhere in modern America, all of which have the same issues and or problems. It is a matter of who is in charge and how these problems are addressed and eventually solved. Resolving how much support can be acquired in the solving of these problems is the greater good. This is a good book and one would say an excellent read. God, the flow of the events and characterizations are easy to identify with. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 10 in spite of all of my previous criticisms. I thoroughly recommend this book.